Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John Supports for the 12th, Monday of March, uh, the Ides of March approach. And, well, we're right back at the uh, peak level of the return. So um, despite any of the uh, horrors of cone leaving, um, tariffs, again, it gets back to the same point. Where else are you going to put your money until the Fed raises rates? Uh, which there's no guarantee at this particular point that's a done deal. It's surmise that it's going to be. Um, you still have a growing economy, and until that looks different, um, there's going to be a price factor increase for the market that accommodates for both the growth as well as inflation. Um, then you throw in the you know higher euro, and you've got recipes that will bring you back to the highs, if not taking them out. Now, we've already done that on the NASDAQ, so you can see the disparity. The NASDAQ is way up performing the ES, um, which is significant. Um, we're seeing similar uh, readings from our DOCs, a um, little bit stronger uh, with the uh, cyan having moved below the um, midterm buyers in green DOC here, as well as now heading below. Uh, but they're getting to a point where they're uh, significantly overdone where they're not even in it but this is just the new money that just keeps coming into it because while you're hearing all these stories about retail investors leaving they don't have as big an impact and if I have ever talked about anything over the last decade that's something that I've always pointed out that uh, you know the general market consumer does not move the market and when you understand that you begin to realize um, where the control really lies, and that's the important aspect of it. Uh, it is interesting that uh, Goldman Sachs' chairman is leaving, um, supposedly by the end of the year. It'll be interesting to see if that's uh, related to Cohen leaving, but and will he be looking at that job? We don't know yet. Uh, here's the euro. It's still at elevated levels, um, and significantly so. Uh, it's still in a kind of a soft spot here with the move down, but it's reset. If you get a pivot here, uh, you would be at a higher pivot DOC uh, that could generate a new buy. So right now, though, uh, we've established this new range between 125, 122. Um, still, it's way out of line with uh, where it really should be. Um, getting to the lower side of uh, TLT, that should continue to break down. We'll look for that to continue. Oil is holding just fine. No real changes in our view on that at this particular point. Um, as long as there's growth and uh, significant um, increase ability in supply, that doesn't mean it can all be utilized. So there are some bottlenecks uh, that haven't been addressed yet. And if the economies continue to grow at over 3%, um, yeah, that's going to put added pressure uh, there, which will affect uh, that. And gold, uh, again, we talked about why gold is being uh, kept at this lower value um, because of the way they basically turned it into a derivative product uh, with the actual uh, commodity. Go figure. Whoops, went one too far there. And here we have our 5K, and you can see there was just nothing to do with this chart. It was just straight up. Look at that cyan under uh, the red. DOC all the way through. We had a brief spot right here, but it didn't correspond to uh, much of anything. In fact, we weren't even oversold when that happened. Um, it'll likewise one right here. This one's caused a little bit more of a move down towards the um, short algo. Not too big a shock, uh, but needless to say, look at that um, reset of steel has been maintained throughout uh, this entire run. And that is a significant pump of uh, capital. So while Joe Schmo retailer decided to get out, uh, fortunately for him, he still invested with his 401ks, blah, 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 blah. Um, so he's benefiting from that. And uh, you know the, the doom and gloom crowd that has been projecting for the last decade about how things have gone too far really doesn't do math very well. And uh, I've always suggested not listening uh, to the mainstream media, they just don't know what they're talking about. And it's anything they're doing has already been done, and so doing the opposite of what they do usually is the correct move. And that's been the case for a very long time. They're not in your interest. Uh, it's not, 
equal access to information. Let's just put it that way. Um, they retain a monopoly on it. So, worth noting. As always, though, trade well. I will. Uh, I was away for the weekend, but I will uh, get back on Skype chat and look back through all of uh, the messaging. Uh, it was quite a bit. So. Uh, I'll post any uh, new charts that are relevant. Currently, we're just in a little soft spot at this particular point. I would expect that we're going to return back to pre-market highs um, once the market gets close to the open. So we'll go from there. As always, trade well. We'll talk to you later.